Hello and welcome. Now we are going to have a look at how to start with your CO2 or carbon dioxide response curve. First thing, you need to visit this landflux.org and then go to the tools tab and then you're going to be presented with a bunch of um, different curve fitting tools. You need to download this one, ACI curve fitting. 10.0 XLS. Download that into your computer and run it. And once you open it, you're going to have something like this. So this curve fitting tool um, has been preloaded with a sample data set. Okay, so the most important things are this CI and also the A value. Uh, for the PPFD, the, your light value, your temperature, and also the atmospheric pressure, usually these things are kept constant. But if you got this parameter from your original raw data set, you can include them as well. So not a problem. Okay. Right. So very often when you try to run your curve fitting tool, when you hit this guy here, it's going to present you with this bunch of errors. Okay, it says Microsoft Visual Basic um, errors. Um, not to worry. Um, Visual Basic is just um, something else which is running simultaneously with your Excel. It's just in the background, you can't see it. Um, what you need to do now is number one, you need to um, go to options. Of the of your Excel and then you go to add in make sure that your Excel add in this guy down here you hit go make sure all of this has been um, checked uh, which they are now so that's fine and then you need to also ensure that you have access to the developer tab so that you can summon the visual basic this can be done simply by pressing alternate F11, okay? Alternate um, with F11, okay? Depending on your keyboard, sometimes you need to press the function key first, then only alternate and F11. If your keyboards are not really working, just like mine now, you need to have this developer turn on, uh, which you can do so by going to the option again, but this time you need to visit this customized ribbon um, tab and then go to the main tabs and the developer little box is actually over here. So you need to check this. Uh, once you click OK, you're going to get your developer tab over there. Right, so you need to go to Visual Basic and then you have to hit um, Run, go to References. Okay, and make sure that your solver is checked. Okay, if it is not checked, that's why it's not running. Okay, right. So if you hit OK and then you close this Visual Basic, you do the fit curve. After a while, you're going to have everything running sm smoothly, right? Just like um, what it should do uh, right okay, that's going to take a while because um, probably my computer is not that powerful uh, it's going to take some time to do all the computation right okay so it's it's run now so your, your curve has been nicely fitted and also you got all these uh, values for various parameters okay however I just want to show you one more thing um, another scenario is um, if your Excel is not properly prepped and the macros are not running really well, if you have a completely new uh, curve fitting tool and nobody has ever done anything to your Excel before, there is additional option in the references list uh, in the um, Visual Basic, which I'm going to show now. You need to get rid of this first, otherwise um, your uh, your curve fitting tool is not, it's not going to work like this one, okay? So it's kind of like newly downloaded, fresh from the oven, okay? 
um, it's, it's, it's grey out now um, you need to close the, this visual basic um, reopen it again yeah go to tools references yeah you see this guy here yeah the reason why it's not running is because this thing is checked you need to uncheck this and then check this solver sometime the solver is not on the list here you need to find it okay if you hit the browse here you can actually find the, the browser this depends on your computer but for my computer this is the path for the solver file okay why it's not here you need to uh, have the option for all files then your solver will be visible so this is the path for my solver it's um, in the windows folder then go to the program files microsoft office the root office 16 library and eventually find the solver so i'll have this solver right okay so make sure this is not checked okay just hit okay close this and then um, let's try something change this value maybe to um, 38 probably yeah then let's try to fit the curve yeah right if it works um, you're not going to get the visual basic errors but your computer might get frozen for a bit because um, the Excel is doing that all the computation needed to fit the curve and also to calculate various parameters down here all the VCMAX, uh, the JRD and so on then eventually after a few uh, moments you're going to get your curve fitted beautifully and all the parameter values are also computed correctly okay that's all.